So in the last video I discussed, okay, if I find value, I buy it. Now the question is how to get to that value. And I want to really make it quick and simply explain how to get to intrinsic value, what is margin of safety, what is value investing, and use Apple as an example. So as a value investor, you think, okay, what's the value? What is the final value if all things go wrong? Apple is an asset light business, so best thing to watch is cash flows. Let's see. If we look at Apple's cash flows over the last 10 years, okay, 2008, 9, just starting with the iPhone, but since 2012, cash flows, free cash flows for the company were 40 billion, 44, 49, 69 billion, 52, 50, 64, 61 billion. So let's say that on average, the Apple customer base will give the company about, in this case, what, 50, 55 billion dollars in free cash flows per year. If there is a recession, if there is a slowdown, if there is the iPhone cycle, if some phone isn't good, if Apple TV doesn't gain traction, then it will be a little bit lower. The free cash flow will be 30, 40 billion. If there is an explosion, boom, as Apple always has those cycles, it will be 60, 70. But as a value investor looking for a margin of safety, I would say, okay, in the worst case scenario, average earnings over the next 10 years, average free cash flows will be 50 billion from Apple. So there will be ups and downs. You will hear uh, Apple bulls saying, okay, this will revol revolutionize something, payments, TV or something. You will hear Apple bears saying how Apple is dead, blah, 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 blah. But still there is what, 1 billion customers, 2 billion customers that are pretty loyal and they will continue to buy, improve, etc., etc. So when it comes to that, I would say, okay, margin of safety, average over the long term, now we are higher, so I already, from now the cash flows are 60 billion, I go to 50 billion, so I'll already give it a 20% margin of safety and 50 billion over the next 10 years on average and then who knows. How much as an investor am I willing to pay for that? If you expect a 10% return from your investments, then you're willing to pay 500 billion. If you expect a 6% return from your investments, then you're happy to pay 833 billion for the 50 billion in free cash flows. So, and this is your margin of safety. This is what would give you, okay, whatever happens with the market, this is my return, this is the business I own. And this is simple value investing, the core of value investing, the core of margins of safety, and you don't care what happens with the market, what happens with whatever the news are, the latest news are, and you don't care that much about what's going on with the stock price. When the stock price falls into your bucket, margin of safety, return on investment, then you buy. That's it. I hope I was simple. As value investing actually is very simple practically, but you need to have the right mindset to close down, shut the door to all the noise and simply look at value in the worst case scenario when the stock price hits that number of yours that you think, okay, this is the intrinsic value in the worst case scenario, then you simply buy and you leave the upside to whatever the market might do. Thank you for watching. Looking forward to your comments and I'll see you in the next video.